Hey, welcome back. We're continuing with our medical gas design series. This particular one's gonna be how to tag medical gas families in Revit. Remember, we started creating zone valve boxes, then I'll show you how to modify those zone valve boxes, then I'll show you how to create medical gas alarm panels, and then I'll show you how to create medical gas outlets. Then we put it all together into two separate videos. The first video was piping medical gas outlets and the second one was piping the zone valve boxes and adding the alarm panels. And in this one, I'm going to show you how to tag your outlets, how to tag your zone valve boxes and how to tag your alarm panels. Keep in mind that all the locations and flows that I show here are just for explanation purposes. So please ignore them. They're not by any means supposed to be accurate. Okay, this is just for you to understand how the families behave, how the families work, how to pipe them, how to tag them and all that. If you want to get in depth into the design of medical gases, you know, calculations of CFM, location of zone valve boxes and outlets, selection of compressors and vacuum pumps, then you can scan the QR code that you see on the screen right now and then we can figure something out. But for now, let's just get started. And before we even start, think about it, it makes sense. If you like this kind of content, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. You hit that bell so you get notifications. You don't miss any of our videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and select the alarm panel. We're gonna edit the family. And now we're gonna add a parameter for tagging. So we come here, new parameter share parameter we're going to select it from our ajs parameters under plumbing and it's going to be equipment tag we're going to make it an instance parameter because we want each one of those alarm panels to have a different tag a different id and we can group it under plumbing to keep them all together by default i'm going to call it aap Let's just leave it AAP and then we'll complete with whatever we need. I'm going to click OK. And now let's load into our project. Let's override existing version. And now we just need the tag. So if I hit TG for tagging, the tag that I have is this mechanical equipment tag, which is generic. But the one I want is this one, AJS, mechanical equipment tag and then now it's reading correctly. Note that the tag is an instance parameter and this is important because I'm gonna probably want to have let's say 1.1 here right and then this one here maybe you want it let's say 1.2 right and then you could tag this one independently and now we should do the same thing to the zone valve boxes. So let's go ahead and just do it. So edit family. We'll do the same thing. We come here to our parameters. We add a new parameter. It's going to be a share parameter. We're going to grab it from plumbing. It's going to be AJS equipment tag going to be an instance parameter and we can group it under plumbing and then this one can be by default zone val box and now we load into project the project we want to load into is this one override existing version and now Let's click on this one, for example, and let's make this one zone valve box 1.1. And let's tag it. Let's get rid of this leader here. I think we can just slide it a little bit outside. And then we can do the same with this one. But first, we have to fill in the equipment tag. So let's say zone valve box 1.2 and typically you would have the first digit be the floor or the building and then the second digit to be the zone. So let's tag TG. That would be this one here. 
and then we can have this one notice that this one doesn't have the parameter yet edit family we have to add that parameter it's not here so new share parameter and what I'm gonna do is since all these parameters are gonna be common to all the zone valve boxes and all the alarm panels and all that I'm gonna create a set of parameters so that they can be automatically imported all at once but just for the exercise I'm gonna finish with this one so this one's gonna be a share parameter it's selected from plumbing same thing we did before so we want equipment tag and we want to group it under plumbing it's going to be an instance this is very important because otherwise if you change that parameter in one of the boxes it will change it all across the board and the whole project so this one's going to be zone val box actually we can keep the dash here so that it's ready for our input and what we're going to do is we're going to have this in every single one of the types so that we have less work in the future I want to have the smallest one by default let's load into project this project override existing version and its parameters we said that this one was gonna be zone valve box 1.3 let's tag it and then let's tag this one we have to fill in the correct values so this is 2.4 so now we have 1.1 1.2 and actually 1.4 and then here let's get rid of this leader here one point one one point two one point three and one point four and this is the last tag we have all our alarm panels tagged and all our zone valve boxes tagged and now let's get a little bit creative and let's try to deal with schedules 